Hey everyone, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Abe Lab Studios, back again with another video. This is part two of the arts interview with myself using the questions that I've used in previous arts interviews that I've held with other artists. Um, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing with the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any comments, questions, or even if you'd like to be interviewed yourself and you're not in my local vicinity, um, we could possibly work something out and we can get an interview via Zoom or another way we can work it out. So make sure, um, if you want that or you're interested in that, make sure to leave a comment in the comment box below or hit me up on any of my social media apps. Um, you know, DM me, uh, Facebook me, however you may be, just gonna get that message to me and we can set something up. And then lastly, if you like what I'm doing the channel and you like the videos that I'm posting, make sure to ring that bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. So, without further ado, let's get back in part two of my artist interview with myself. This one's a, a question I thought about many different times, so this not, I don't gotta think too hard on this one. Um, three places, well, I usually give my top three. I just kind of think my top three makes sense. Top three is Jamaica, Japan, and Dubai. Um, Jamaica, number one, because I have family heritage from there. My parents were born there. The majority of my family was born there. Um, and they you know, immigrated to the United States. So I would like to go back, not necessarily to kind of go and see, well, a lot, a lot of different reasons, but just kind of being that I have family that was born there, that's where we're from, and uh, just kind of get the experience of what it's like to be from my family homeland. Um, Japan, Japan, I just kind of like the culture. I just kind of, I mean, I wouldn't say that, because Bruce Lee wasn't Japanese, but he was Chinese. And so, you know, I grew up on Kung Fu films and karate films and stuff like that. Um, I'm not saying that's why I'm going to, I want to go to Japan, but I've kind of always been, feel like I gravitate to that culture. Um, I picked Japan specifically more or less because of sushi and just kind of like the old culture, the, all, the art culture that they have there, the Harajuku, all of that, all of that, all of that. And I would like to experience that for myself and be able to um, see what that's like firsthand. You know, I've done a lot of research on it. You know, I've done a lot of just kind of just, just perusing the artwork and the styles that they have. And I, like I said, I just like to experience it myself. I think that would be very inspirational. I think it would help my personal view of the world and also my personal artist outlook on how I, you know, do certain things or just kind of how I look at certain things. So I think that's the, that's that's number two. And number three is Dubai. And Dubai is really more or less, um, it's just another you know, I don't want to say exotic, but it's just another level, another level of taking it to that place. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about this place. That's one thing. I understand it's kind of uh, uh, developing to be like a Las Vegas, but of the world. Um, these are things that I'm hearing people say. So this is not anything I've known for, from firsthand, but um, those are the things I'm getting from it. And so I would like to experience that well as well and again it's like another part of the world that I can in a sense explore and be a part of and if I was there to visit yeah so those are my top three I would say just those three uh, obviously there's other places in between that I would like to travel to um, you know Thailand um, but if I'm if I can just get those three and I think I'd be happy I think I'd be happy and satisfied if I can get those three places so you know they're not only going to inspire me through you know, the artwork, you know, location, um, climate, all that kind of thing, but they all have interesting artwork, they all have interesting things about them, food as well, culture, um, that I can definitely be inspired by. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a toss-up, it's a toss-up, either Big Tuna or Big Tuna Sushi Breeze Bro, I think that's what they call it or Casa Ramos. Um, again, both of those places 
and why I picked those both places because atmosphere is good, food's good, but the, the atmosphere, the setup is nice. Um, and so it makes me go a different place when I go there rather than just going to the place just to eat the food and the place is the place. It's not necessarily or 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 set up where it's underwhelming rather than just kind of you know takes you to a different spot. And I think both those places do a good job on giving you that opportunity to um, feel like you're in a different place. Um, the bistro, Big Tuna does a good job. It, it feels like I'm in Japan somewhere. You know, um, it's a small place, so you know, that's kind of one of the charms of it. I think the other charm of it is the food is good, and the people that work there and serve the food um, help that, help that, add to that. Um, same with Casa Ramos. It's just more a uh, little. It may be a little gitchy, but it's 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 it does the same. It does the same. Well, hopefully I can continue to grow. You know, hopefully I can continue to grow in my taste, in my personality, in just as a person, just continue to grow. I, I mean, I feel that that will be expected, you know, as much as I read, you know, as much as I do have interest in um, people, you know, people in general, you know, how that kind of goes, culture, um, I think uh, will continue to grow. Um, ultimately, I would like to be able to uh, become somebody that people can learn from. Um, I think my, my, my undeclared mission is to basically be able to create image, artwork, stories that can help inspire people and help teach people um, how to become better people. You know, saying how to become uh, the best person, the best version of yourself, as they say, and um, and get there in a way that's enjoyable. You know, it doesn't have to be a lot of hard work in the sense like, you know, chopping wood or, you know, building a wall or, you know, jackhammering cement. It doesn't have to be like that. It really can be something that can be fun and a process that can be, in a sense, very painless if you do the right things and you're mindful um, pretty much at all times. So that's what I would like to be become in the future, in a sense, more than I am now, and be able to um, have people look at that, look at me and understand that more than they do now. Well, for younger artists, I would say, hmm, just experience as much as you can. I think that's kind of one of the things that I wish I would have been more about when I was younger. Um, when I say experience as much as you can, I mean like, well, as an artist, try to do, use as many different mediums as you can be involved in, you know. Um, for example, I knew there's oil paintings out there. I mean, I was always... A fan of oil pastels I like to work on oil pastels and but at the same time I never used oil paintings until maybe a year ago and you know as much as it's just like paint it's, 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 it is paint but it's not like acrylic paint it's a little different it's a little different medium and I've used acrylic paint for a while you know I did that a lot in, um, in school and it was fun, you know, I, I, I got to a point where I could really, you know, uh, predict what was going to, the work was going to turn out to be, or the color was going to turn out to be when it dried, because sometimes the color you're painting with when it's wet doesn't, um, doesn't tell you the color it's going to be when it dries, and so it's kind of something that I learned through the process, and so it would have been great to have been able to spend some time using oil painting, um, I'm not necessarily doing oil painting right now, but uh, I guess my point here is to try to use as many different means as you can to kind of find the one that works the best for you or gets you the most opportunity to come out with the best outcome. Um, you know, try a lot of different things. You know, um, I spent a lot of time doing photography in school and it took me through a couple, well, it took me about 10 years after school um, uh, where I was still doing photography. I'm not doing so much now 
you know, um, everything's kind of digitized over. When I was going to school, we were using darkroom. So, I mean, the whole process of going through the darkroom is a whole different thing. Um, I think the digitizing of the photography is made a lot more accessible to people. And even now that everyone has it on their phone, a great camera on their phone and uh, filters that they can kind of make the image look even better, um, it kind of gives more access to everybody to, to do that. But uh, I would say try as many things as you different as many different mediums as you can be interested in a lot of different mediums as you can um and i mean at this point the world is yours in the sense of technology you know um me growing up there were some things that just weren't accessible um and so to try to think about wanting to be that person or do that kind of thing or that type of artwork um, was a whole different thing and so i think now yeah, you should just kind of like imagine the world is yours. You have, I mean, even just with the phone, you know, even with just the phone, we have a multimedia, you know, studio right there that you can do whatever you want. Um, you just got to set your mind to it. So I think just kind of being, being, um, you know, just being, what's the word? Uh, just again, think big. In a sense, in a sense thinking big. Um, with the project that you think you want to do. Um, again, trying a lot of different things is very helpful. Uh, I hear a lot of young people talk about how they want to be a YouTuber, and that's great. I think that's cool, a cool aspiration, because it's the hot thing right now. But um, I think if you break that down a little bit more, and what does that mean? What are you going to do to be a YouTuber that's going to make set you apart from other people? Then you can start thinking about little different things that you can do. Um, that will help you build content that will draw people to your channel. So um, that's what I would say. I just say just think big, try a lot of different things, and be open to the opportunities that you can that you have because the opportunities are out there. I mean, the world—it's it's the world, you know. Of open space, you know, either cement floors, wood floors, a um, lot of. Um, windows so that I can get a lot of light in you know um, being it's being what I would like to have is a multimedia studio where I can do photography you know big paintings um, you know smaller projects computer access Wi-Fi uh, you know and then also have that space that working space double as a space where I can hold events would be ideal um, you know our gallery shows you know, uh, private shows, um, you know, things like that would be ideal for me. That if I'm thinking of the ideal space, and they even have a space that's separated where it can be um, more like a studio, not necessarily, more like a classroom. So there's a space where it's a little blocked off desks, things like that work, seminars, meetings, and things like that can be held where you can actually block it off from the rest of the place and have it a little more um, secluded, a little more intimate, and have, you know, like either talks or, you know, like I said, like a classroom situation where a professor or a teacher can um, teach people a certain thing or just gonna have talks, share one-on-one. -on -one. I think that would that'd be ideal. I think also have that, sim that same space in a space where if I was doing an event, I could get foot traffic. So, you know, just put a sign outside, oh, so-and-so's happening, people walking by, we'll stop in and that kind of thing and check it out. So, you know, uh, you know, downtown space, it's kind of off, in a sense, the beaten path, but it is on the path. <laughs> off the beaten path, but on the path. Uh, that would be cool. I think that would be uh, my ideal um, space, my ideal creative space. Um, that's talking about way out, um, but I would say this, I would say that if, well, I would say my legacy, my whole group would be that my legacy would be if someone who persevered, was consistent in what they wanted to do, and that they were able to do it through a process, no matter, no matter how long it took them, and that at the same time, when they got to that point, um, it was a point where they were, in a sense, showing people how to do it.
you know, how they can do it themselves for what they wanted to be. You know, ultimately, I'd like to have be looked at as someone that was a storyteller. Um, I'd like to be someone that told stories that were inspiring, that showed people, again, the way, you know, how to do certain things, how to, you know, persevere over when you have bad situations. You know, I can't tell you how to do everything, but I can tell you that to do anything, you're going to have to persevere over some things. You're going to have to be able to con be consistent on some things. Um, I think at the same time, you're going to have tough times and then you've got to be able to get through those as well. And so I think if there's anything that I can say, if a legacy, that's what I'd like to be able to have through my creative ability, through the artwork that I create. I hope that it shows that I was that type of person that... Um, that overcame some things and persevered and was consistent long enough to get to the point where I was successful enough that people remembered me for what I did. <laughs>Hopefully I'm doing a good job as I'm doing it. You know, um, I don't know what the end product is going to be um, when I get there. Um, I'll let you know. Uh, but I think at this point, it's more or less just kind of, you know, doing what you feel is right and just kind of vibing with that and going with that until you get to a point where you can actually see some traction and, you know, either you get noticed or you just kind of get to a point where it's a tipping point and, 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 and it there's no way it's not going to happen. Um, I feel that, uh, I feel that I'm there somewhere up there. Um, I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, and that only time will tell. I just kind of leave it at that. I don't want to say too much on that, you know, stress that, stress that one out too much, but, uh, yeah, that's what I'll say. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, that has been my artist interview. Ha <laughs> ha. So there you have it, a total arts interview held by myself, and again, using the questions that I've used in the past when I've had other artist interviews. Um, again, hope you enjoyed the video, hopefully you got a little bit more, hopefully you got an opportunity to know a little bit more about myself and the artwork that I do. Um, and yeah, if you end up liking this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, make sure to subscribe, and if you have any comment questions, or if you'd like to be interviewing yourself, you know what to do. Leave me a comment in the comment box below or hit me up at any of my other social media links um, that, I, again, I post in the description box below. Um, and then lastly, if you want to be uh, hit up when I drop a new video, make sure to ring that bell. So again, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got to know a little bit more about myself and the artwork that I do. And... Um, yeah, I enjoyed making this video. It's been a long time coming. Um, like I said, I've, in previous um, situations, I've, I've interviewed other people. And it's fun to interview them and to kind of get their feedback. And again, the thing that I'm trying to draw together is this idea of how all artists have, you know, kind of similar kind of outlooks on life. You know, way they kind of get inspiration, you know, maybe even, you know, where they eat, you know, or they like to eat, that kind of thing. And just kind of see if that's, that holds true. You know, at this point, I think there are some things that I can link up from each artist I've been able to interview that kind of coincide with other artists, you know, no matter what their, um, their medium that they work in, you know, be it painting, sculpture, photography, you know, um, you know, DIY stuff. It's all kind of the same. It's all creativity. It's all, you know, come creating something from nothing. And I think that's a, a, a great ability to have in this day and time. So, like we always do at this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side. Let's go!